So many of you, uh, again, I am awestruck uh, working with such an august group. Uh, you're good people caring very deeply about your sailors, your country, and you've dedicated your adult life to, I think, a very noble gent uh, venture along with your spouse. So your investment of your time, days, uh, with a very busy job, and your inbox keeps filling up. You keep attacking the uh, BlackBerry or the iPhone to keep things going while you're here doing this. And for that, I'm very deeply uh, appreciative to you. I hope it's been productive to you. Uh, remember, we're part of a, a global network. Uh, there are global solutions out there. Not all of them are global solutions. We have global problems, and we're, we can, we should do that. There is this potential energy, as I see it, of almost 800 ships of our ships underway every day doing something, not just out alone, but doing something in a collaborative manner. So imagine being able to harness that toward uh, common issues around the world. And that's sort of the, the dream I have. My predecessor, too relieved, came up with this idea of a thousand ship Navy. And I said, really, a thousand? Mike Mullen, and uh, you know, he said, I just, I don't know, I picked a number. But it's almost a reality from the perspective, it's tangible. So I, I ask you to kind of keep that in mind. Uh, as what brings us together, try and think about that or maybe remind yourself, we are so different. We have languages, cultures, histories, governments, and then that's politics, and then that's policies, and they're, they're all very different. But we have that common environment. Like our sec my Secretary of the Navy said, we don't look down for the border that separates us and make sure we understand where that, you know, where are we separated and how far can I go. We look out there to see what's possible and what we can do. That's the C. We have common interests. We have common responsibilities. We got a lot of common challenges. They were laid out very clearly in the regional breakout, and I thought you all did a great job uh, in the regional break, the summaries from the regional breakout. So my view is that the regions pretty much have a pretty good grasp on what the relevant issues are for them and what they want to do. Now, some of that they said, well, this is larger than the region. I share with you a few of the things that I took away that, that I think we've agreed to, or, or at least I'll tell you I've agreed to take on here. Uh, one is cyber. We've got to, in my view, study this thing and see how does that apply to the collective group here. Uh, it can be very national, and that's really not specifically our business, but it's also going truly international and transnational. And so I, I really appreciate MLA agreeing to, uh, when we do index here, those of us that will be there, and he'll invite the whole group here, that we take this on and get into uh, some substance of that in Singapore next May for in the interested panel members that'll be there. QS, uh, I'm, I for one, very pleased at how we've grabbed a hold of this thing and said, so what are we gonna do with this? And uh, I was taken by the Indian Ocean Group, the Mediterranean Sea, Black Sea, Caspian Sea, and the Pacific Group. Everybody commented on it, but I interpreted those groups saying, look, let's uh, take a hard look at this, uh, consider a governing body, and, uh, and, and make sure QS is addressed. Uh, I will tell you, it will, be on, it will be in this forum's agenda next time, at whatever condition QS is in. We know it's adopted in the Pacific. 21 nations signed to it, they're in. And you heard Admiral Wu and others say, we are training, we are pushing this to our people. I'm the same way about that. Uh, the, other, the other nations did the same. So what I will need, uh, we're gonna, I'm going to suggest, I'm going to promote, you're either in or you're not, I'll leave, leave that up to you, a working group of experts. We will pull some people, we, will, we need some people from the regions to come together and look at the document and study it and get the comments. And I'll get to how we pass those comments around to all of us. Some of you in the regions, you're gonna take it on. You said so, and you can use your regional fora to, to do that, that's fine. Uh, I'm telling you that this, this body will bring QS to the table for a discussion. So more on how we'll get uh, that, that, uh, that working group going. Information sharing, there are a lot of systems out there in use today. Uh, I think we need to continue to nurture and see how do we get these documented and cataloged so that people can plug and play. 
that, that we take these information systems to the lowest common denominator so that we don't get tripped up in a lot of interoperability uh, memoranda of agreement that we can't get by policies. Now that may require a regional approach, and I understand that, but if we can catalog that, then folks can go reach out to them and say, how does this thing work? It seems to work so well in the Atlantic region. It seems to work pretty darn well in the Indian Ocean region, maybe, maybe perhaps as an example. So how do we allow everybody, Gulf of Guinea, et cetera, to take aboard that uh, what they can? It was suggested on the first day that we post best practices somewhere, that we take, for example, where are we on QS? Take, for example, where are we on information sharing and put it somewhere so people can read it, so you all can get to it. So the War College here, this, this Naval War College, will build and pro populate and provide for you the access to a probably web-based lessons learned site, uh, a, a repository of best practices and sort of status. Uh, what we'll do is we'll build it here. Gardner, you know how long that'll take? Do you know how, approximately how long that'll take? Sorry, don't have an answer. Um, like two All right. So we'll have this done certainly well within six months, where we'll have that built and we'll get out to you. Uh, we will need contacts, but there's a lot of contacts here uh, to get to you. And by the way, the fact that you've registered here, we, we have a point uh, to get that data out to you and then we will allow you to have access uh, to this site where we can continue to, to get to that. High-end topics, uh, it is my opinion, and, and I will push to including in this, uh, uh, an opportunity in, in this forum to talk about, continue to talk about energy and its security and access, uh, to talk about the Arctic from the perspective of the security there, uh, where and what there may be a security threat and, and what, where it applies in an international solution. I think the fact of the matter is, ladies and gentlemen, there is ice there today and it's going to be an ocean tomorrow and it's going to be sometime. And uh, we're going to have to deal with it. And we ought to understand uh, and shake out the implications to a point uh, that, we find, that we are satisfied for that. There may be other high-end issues that we talk about but those are two that I think are, are worthy of it. So uh, we need to come forward with tangible solutions where they need to apply in our respective regions or globally. I think that's how we move from here. We'll move at a speed that it makes sense for all of you, uh, and you know that none of this is binding, it's voluntary, and you wouldn't be here if you weren't interested in grasping that and becoming a, a part of that. So we'll have that challenge to apply what we learned here and come up with some solutions. Uh, I'd like to reiterate what I said the first day. This is a continuum. This is one of, of several uh, fora that we have, symposia that we have. There's the uh, IMSS that was last in Jakarta, as I recall. IMDEX will be in Singapore. DIMDEX is in Doha in the spring. The RSS, I believe, uh, uh, Admiral De Giorgio made it clear that that will be in Venice here in 2015. The Western Pacific Naval Symposium rotates. The Indian Ocean Naval Symposium rotates. And of course, the Inter-America Naval Conference. So lots of opportunities for us to continue to talk about these matters. The next event that I'm aware of is right around the corner, a few weeks away in Victoria, Canada, the 6th to 9th October, the Maritime Security Challenges of 2014. Uh, I will publish soon for you when this next, uh, when ISS uh, Next 22 is going to take place. Um, I recognize we got a lot to accomplish, but I think we're well on our way, and I appreciate very, very much you all being here. Uh, some of you won't be here at the next ISS uh, because you're, you're changing in one way or another uh, and going to another chapter in your book. And I, I pass to those of you that I've had the honor and privilege to serve with uh, my very best wishes for you to continue to for you have a happy life, a very healthful life continuing from here and continue to be successful. To all of you, please travel safely. Please stay in touch. And remember, uh, to trust and confidence are the key words here. Um, my very best to you. And uh, as Admiral DiGiorgio have passed along, I say the same. Fair winds and following seas to all of you. Thank you very much. <laughs>